Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've not really done anything like this on the channel. This is what I would call a fashion haul. I think the closest thing we've done is probably like our Disney haul or when we were getting ready to go to Disney and I did the couple's t-shirt video or the Amazon haul from that. But um, I do want this to be a kind of lifestyle fashion avenue as well as beauty. Of course, the makeup is the, the my primary focus, but you guys know that we've been implementing vlogging and other type things like that. So um, ultimately this will be kind of like just a lifestyle vlog when it's all said and done. That being said, the reason I have not done a fashion haul yet is because I really have not purchased a lot of clothing. We've been putting so much into the makeup and I've been really wanting to get like some more subscription boxes and new products and stuff makeup wise so that I can review them and give you guys first impressions and tell you if they're worth it or not. That I really haven't purchased a whole lot of clothing. I have a ton of clothing and so I don't really need a lot. Not that I need makeup either, but like I don't care about that. I just spend money on makeup like it's water. But for this, I really actually like, I have this weird thing where I feel like throughout my whole life I've been like obsessed with different things and I collect them like right now and probably for the rest of forever because of how long this, this particular obsession has been going on. I am obsessed with makeup, <laughs> obviously. Um, that is kind of what I collect, that's what I focus on. Um, when I was a child it was paper products. I collected a lot of post-it notes because what five-year-old doesn't love a good post-it note? I don't know. I have a lot of weird qualities. Anyway, so in my adulthood, it morphed into um, first kind of like in my adolescence, I was really into purses and that still is with me. I just have kind of migrated my full attention on towards, uh, towards the makeup aspect of it, but I still genuinely love handbags. I think that a gorgeous handbag is really useful in terms of the fact that you can carry it more than you would be able to wear an outfit. I'm a big fan of designer handbags, not even so much about the labels or, you know, the cost or the idea that is associated with them because I don't really care as much about that. It's more, I just know that when I purchase a designer handbag, it's going to be higher quality and it's going to last me longer. That being said, when we left the cruise, we stopped at the Tangers Outlet in Savannah, Georgia, and we picked up quite a few purses. It was right after Christmas, so they were having a ton of, of sales and stuff like that. So I think I got four purses there, three from Michael Kors and one from Coach. And that was the last time that I purchased handbags, which was, of course, in January of 2019. So it was almost a full year ago, 10 months ago. I had been really good. I really wasn't buying any purses or even really looking at them. I found... Well, I didn't find it. Let me give credit where credit is due. My mother found this website, I Love Dooney, uh, about two years ago. She told me about them. I got on their email list. So I got emails from them like all year and I just really wouldn't look. Um, but they were doing a sale and I opted not to purchase that one. And then as soon as that sale ended, they did a $99 per sale, which for Dooney and Bork, um, the average price per bag is probably around $200 um, all the way up to like $500. So to have pretty much all of their selection of handbags be $99, it wasn't quite all of them, but it was a good selection of them were $99. That is incredibly cheap. I always think like if I were in an outlet mall, if I were in a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx and I saw this purse for that price, would I be excited? The answer was yes. So because I uh, had not purchased purses in a while and I had also a 10% off coupon because I put in my a different email address and when you sign up for their email list, you get a 10% off coupon. So because I had that going for me and I had the $99 sale, I wound up picking up three purses, each one after the discount was applied and taxes were all said and done. It wound up being $89.10 per purse. So overall, my my haul was relatively cheap. I think I bought all three purses for about what the average price of one purse was. So uh, I spent a lot of money, yes. However, I feel like I got a really good deal and I feel like it was worth it. Now I've talked a lot, but um, the benefit of that is I only have three purses to show you, so it shouldn't take me too long to actually unbox everything or unbag, if you will, everything. But I am going to show you, I got them in three different sizes and they're all very different styles. And I do that because when I buy multiple purses at a time, I know it's going to be with the intention that basically throughout the year, I'm going to be carrying these purses. I'm gonna start with the biggest and we're gonna go from there. This is obviously the biggest one. And I will say I used to be like, oh, I only want big purses. And now I've like changed what I carry inside my purses and really I can get by with a very small purse. But this one was just so beautiful. 
that I couldn't really resist it. Um, it's in the shade Pumpkin. I actually feel like it's a little bit lighter than what I expected it to be when I was looking at it on the website, but it is a very nice sized tote bag purse. And one of the things my mom always looks for is like, she wants to make sure that it has a zipper because she doesn't like leaving her purse exposed all the time, which I completely understand if it has a zipper that way, you know, if you're ever in a situation where you're just kind of like, I just want to like close my bag just to be safe. You can, when you have a tote bag that's just wide open, it makes it a little bit harder. You kind of feel a little more protective of it. But inside it's got like a really nice, very nice lining inside. I think pretty much most of their purses have this kind of like blue and white nautical pattern on the inside of it. Um, it does have feet on the bottom as well. And then it's got this really nice big zipper pocket in the front. And um, of course you've got storage in the bag as well as a uh, little hook to keep your keys on. This one I've actually never seen before. Some of them I've seen like in other places, but I've never seen this particular style. And I really was drawn to it just because it is a very nice structured bag almost could be a, a nice tote bag, especially if you're traveling or something like that. Um, like I said, especially when I'm traveling, I normally try and go smaller purses just so I can keep all my stuff organized a little bit more. And also it's a little bit less bulky when I'm traveling and things like that. But I really liked it and I got it in the shade pumpkin because I really thought it was a nice fall color. Um, it's actually so bright, it may wind up being a springtime color for me more. I really like the bag, I really like the color, and even though it's a little bit lighter than I thought it was, I was very happy with this particular one because I feel like for $89, this is probably the biggest steal just because it is so large and it is such a nice quality purse. So that's the first one. The second one I got, they are very nice about sending you the protective bags as well, and they normally send them with each purse, but for some reason I didn't get one with this purse, so I put them in the same bag which is, it's fine, I don't need that many. This one I really like, this was Nikki's favorite. Especially when I was younger, most of the styles of Dooney's that I had, had Dooney and Bork written on it or the DB, which is what I think people identify normally with it. As I've gotten older, I've started to gravitate more towards the plain leather ones and things like that. But this particular, um, I believe the style is called Doodle, I think. I wanna call it graffiti because it always kind of reminds me of like graffiti-ish letters, but I really, really like this. They do it in a multicolored one as well, and then they do it in the black and white. I like the multicolored at first, that's what drew me in, but when I realized they had it in black and white, especially in this particular style, I was a really big fan of it. This has got like a nice kind of like triangular shape to it. It doesn't have the feet on the bottom, um, but this is like their textured canvas is what they call it. So basically it's canvas and then it's like dipped in some sort of like a latex protective coating, if you will. And that gives it like a nice, almost leather feel, but not quite. But I was a really big fan of this. I feel like this is going to be a really good addition to my um, holiday bag collection. So like around Christmas time, I think this is probably when I'll wind up carrying this in the winter seasons. Um, and then inside it's also got a nice um, inside as well, but this one is red. If they don't do that blue and white nautical look, then normally they do red. And it also has the little keychain hook in there. Pretty much all their purses include that. Okay, and then our final bag is, um, it's actually a little smaller than what I was hoping it would be. I told you guys already at this, the beginning of this video that I like smaller bags, especially for traveling. And I really like crossbody bags. Um, on the cruise, I was looking really hardcore for it. Um, but my favorite crossbody bag right now happens to be like one that I picked up for like $20. Uh, it's a Jessica Simpson one. It's a really cute little like blush pink one. And I've used it for like all of the traveling I've done in the past basically two years. I think my dad got it for me on a family vacation like a little while ago and I really have loved it. It's got a good size. It's actually really durable, but it's starting to just with like less expensive purses, you start seeing it get scuff marks and things like that. So I really wanted to get another nice like crossbody bag that I could use for traveling purposes, especially with us planning our wedding cruise um, in a couple years. I found this one and I love it. It is really pretty. They call it the ostrich prints. It's just a really nice textured looking leather. Like I said, I was a little surprised at how small it was. Like it should be fine. It'll fit everything I need it to. Basically my phone, my card wallet, and my keys are what I always make sure can fit in a bag before I purchase it. And this will definitely fit those with still a little bit of extra room, but it will be very tight. It does have a nice little pocket on the front of it. It doesn't zip, but it's a little pocket in there just in case you wanna like shove your phone in there really quickly or something like that. Um, and then it does have the same red inside but it does have the little keychain hook in there as well. So those are the three bags that I purchased. I wanted to give you guys this video just because I think it's really hard to find really quality bags for an affordable price a lot of the time. And this website, I Love Dooney, um, 
really when mom found it and when she purchased from it for the first time, we both were kind of like, is it fake? Is this a scam? Like their, their bags are so cheap there. But really what I believe it is, is it's their way of like having an online outlet store. So that way when they're getting out their old products, when they're getting out their last season stuff and they're trying to clear their warehouse to make room for the newer stuff, they have an avenue to do so where it's not like, hey, we have to send it to an outlet mall. Hey, we have to send it to a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. They can do it online because honestly, 95, I would say 95, maybe I'm overestimating that. This is my, this is my uninformed statistic, statistical guess, if you will. I would say 95% of people online shop now. I do my, most of my shopping online. I very rarely walk into a store with the intention of like, I have to buy something unless I'm walking in with the intention of like, I have to buy something today because I need it for today. Um, or I'm grocery shopping. I don't order online for grocery shopping. So that being said, I really wanted to show you guys like this website. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So this is like just me telling you guys, hey, this is a really great option for you if you're looking for um, a place to purchase nice handbags online conveniently. And they're always running deals um, right now. I think they're doing 25% off uh, the weekend before I purchased these. They had a $40 coupon, which is why I started looking. And then I decided not to buy with that. And I bought when they did the $99 sale because the $99 sale is about the cheapest that you're going to find it. And like I said, if you sign up onto their email list, you get a 10% off coupon because I'd never purchased for them from them before, but I had signed up for their list. I had let a coupon expire and uh, I wanted to be using my other email address to sign up and get another coupon so that way I could use it for um, this purchase. Overall, really quality stuff. Dooney Bork's one of my personally, my favorite purse brands. Um, yeah, so... I hope you guys like this kind of video. It is very different from our style. I know it was mainly just me talking and not a lot of me showing you guys stuff, but it's kind of hard when I only have three products to show you. But that gives me a little bit of a chance to kind of go deeper into the products and deeper into the place I'm purchasing from. Um, if you guys like this video, then please let me know in the comments. That way I can kind of get a feel for whether or not you want to see stuff like this. Because if you don't really care about it, then I won't bother filming next time I do stuff like this. Um, I know it's not like a fashion haul where it's fun and I can try stuff on and show you how it looks on. It's just kind of like a, hey, look, these are purses. But like I said, I really like purses. So now that I've rambled a lot, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. It does help the page out really, really quite a bit. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. We're pretty fun. And uh, we're starting to grow in our little Dark Angel family. And it's just making my heart absolutely explode. I've seen so much like love and positive feedback from you guys and I can't express to you how much that means to me. So uh, yeah, so if you wanna be a part of this super wonderful and very supportive family, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that way you see every time we post video. And uh, yeah, you can get in on all this goodness. <laughs> so like I said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and as always, stay girly with a dark twist.